Not bad for a super quick and easy table bread. This is perfect for all the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, everything in between, or just having people over because there is never an occasion that doesn't call for bread. It's the Great Taylor C. Baker Show. Hello, my name is Taylor C. Baker. I am baking my way through the Great British Bake Off technical challenges in hopes to live up to my namesake and become a better baker. And clearly it's going super well. And I was in the middle of baking Kuinamon. Tap here if you haven't watched that sweet, savory, flaky, buttery, delicious, perfect for any holiday occasion roll type muffin thing. Check that out. And I had some extra dough, so I just left out the butter and the sugar and I made bread. So I thought I'd tell you how to make a little fall loaf. So if you want to double up and make a sweet dough and a savory dough for your holiday times, this is the way to do it. So all of the ingredients, all of the how you make this part of the dough is in this recipe for Kuinamon. So just do all of those steps, but don't add the sugar and do all the butter. So just stop before you hit the butter and sugar layer. Just mix up your dough, let it rise, and then that's what this is. So I'm gonna attempt to do this super fun autumnal leaf pattern. And I'm gonna, my oven was like, yes, girl, do that. I've never scored bread like this or really made much bread before. So we'll see if it turns out anything like that. I'll bring you on over here so you can watch. This is what we created. It totally looks like fall leaves. Wow, gorgeous. Fare thee well, weird bread. All right, so my supplemental fall loaf has been in the oven at 425 for about 25 minutes now. And because she was a smaller loaf, I think she's done. Let's see how she's doing. Cougar and Mon are coming along nicely. Ooh. Look at that fall pattern, y'all. Totally looks like leaves. Oh yes. Look at that magnificent slicing work. You can totally tell it's fall leaves. And it does, it passes the lovely test. So it sounds baked. The bottom is a little I just want to swim in that scent. The bottom is a little toasty roasty, but I think all in all, it's a pretty nice little loaf. I'll get better at the leaf design, but you can serve this. I would eat this at Thanksgiving. One option, if you are supplementing or making an extra loaf, trying to double up making your kuinamon and a save more savory loaf, had I thought about this earlier on, you can take those same four ingredients, the yeast, flour, water, and salt, and if you want to make it extra fun, you can throw in some garlic, fresh herbs, rosemary, basil, thyme, get a like herbaceous taste. Or you can just go for the traditional plain old bread. And she's still very hot, which is the best time, in my opinion, to try bread. I think, hopefully, according to Paul, Lord of the Bread, that is a good bake. But let's cut into it and see. Ooh. That is a nice bread sound. I like the crispiness on the bottom, but it's still steaming gloriousness. Mmm, fresh baked bread. Not bad for a super quick and easy table bread. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Taylor C. Baker. Be sure to hit subscribe and follow along with all of my baking misadventures. Learn with me. Watch me make mistakes, help me become better. We'll do this together. Thank you for watching. Cheers. It's the Great Taylor Seabaker Show.